battery. Hopefully, I forgot to charge the camera before filming, so we're on two bars. Fingers crossed it doesn't take too long. Hey guys, so today as we can see, it is a very, very, very casual attire. So I thought I would do a little... Oh, oops. So I thought I would do a little like life update chit chat get ready with me today. I'm heading to the central coast um, around like noon. So I'm just kind of doing my makeup and stuff for you guys I guess beforehand. And then I'll pack and head off. I'm a very last minute packer. So when like I need to be leaving I'm usually like still packing my things. So I'm going to be trying to be a little speedy today. But I thought yeah why not have a little chit chat with you guys. I haven't done one of these in so long. I've got my smoothie with me. It doesn't look delicious at the moment, but freaking toast so good. I've perfected the recipe now. Mm. But I don't know what I did today, but flipping tastes so good. I just hope I can remember how I did it tomorrow. How I did it today, tomorrow, you know what I mean? I think I might do a fall look. Just because I want I did want to do like one more formal look for you guys, but then I know formal season's like coming to a close. So I think I might even just do like a 90, 90 out look. But not today. I'll do that. I'll do that another day. Because I want to use it. I want to do it on my sister because she's got those beautiful like hooded eyes. And I love, I love working with her because it's different to my shape. Like my shape eyes and face. So I might do that for you guys in the next video or like the next couple videos or so. I will get back to vlogging. I have an idea for a vlog um, that I want to do very soon. I just need to have a day to actually do it. Like I just have not been free. I've been working so much. Anyway, let's actually get to my makeup. I mean, she didn't chat in a little too much and I won't end up doing anything. <laughs> Anywho, so to initiate the skin, initiate. So to start with the skin, I am going to prime it. It's actually been so good lately. I think like eating healthy, exercising, like actually fixing up my lifestyle has really helped uh, keep my skin really healthy and clear because I was eating a lot of takeaway and stuff at one point and that was not helping. So I'm going to take my 100% pure mattifying primer. This one's full of antioxidants and vitamins. I like it because it is natural. It's from that uh, natural makeup brand. I have done a review on them like last year or so. And I do. I really like them. I really like their makeup. I mean, from what I tried, I just tried the foundation and primer. I really like them. I would like you guys to let me know what you want to see in my next few videos. Like, do you want to see more autumn looks? Do you want to see more summery looks? Do you want to see, like, glowy skin? Do you want to see more matte skin? What do you want to see, you know? Do you want to have a specifically focused look? Do you want it to be, like, an eye makeup look, lip tutorial, like, how to contour, how to highlight? I have done a few of those, but I could do updated ones. Like, let me know. Just throw ideas out there, and I will do them for you. So next I'm actually going to take my contour powder. I did this in my new like updated foundation routine. You can check that out if you want to see the reason behind it while I'm doing this. But yeah so I'm heading down to the central coast. Hey down. I'm heading up to the central coast this Arvo. So um, it's my boyfriend's sister's like year 10 formal so I'm going down up Ugh. um so i'm going up there i would love to just do my formal again i loved my year 10 and my year 12 one so much i'm doing a slight little slight little uh shadow on the forehead nothing too crazy even though we will go over with foundation i just want something there i'm just adding some of my foundation this is the what is this one the airborne perfecting liquid foundation maybe a smidge bit too light it's a good one because it's like a medium coverage even though i'm going glam i'm not a fan of like a full full coverage look i'll just keep a little extra bit on the back of my hand to add if i need to add any more i got accepted into a camp guys for my camp canada you know how i was applied for camp camp canada to do those like those summer camps over over in Canada. I'm so excited. I got accepted a couple weeks ago now, so it's just in the final stages. I have to figure out what, like, find out what dates I'm going, but I'm definitely accepted into a camp, which is so exciting. If you guys have done a summer camp program before, like you've been one of the camp counsellors or you attended one as a child, like, let me know. Because I'm obviously in Australia, we don't actually have these kinds of programs. It's more up in the northern hemisphere, I guess. 
So I'm excited, it'll be my first experience at one of these kinds of camps. I need to start like booking things because obviously I want to travel afterwards. Oh, I literally, I've been dreaming about traveling Canada for so long and I'm so excited that I'm actually going to do it. And to conceal, I'm just going to take my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Creamy Beige and just kind of squeeze the last drops of it. I need to get a new one. And then I'm just going to blend out the concealer with this Tapered Kabuki from Sigma. So yeah, I want to travel around Canada. I've always, 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 always wanted to see the Northern Lights. And I'll be around during that period of time, so I hopefully will be able to see them. I literally, that's on my bucket list, it's like one of the top things. And I wanted to go to a lot of the Rockies as well. A lot of the nature parts of Canada. I'm hugely into hiking and trails and just being out in nature, so I thought that would probably be the area that I want to travel around most, is like the Rockies. I do want to check out Montreal and all that, but I don't think I'll spend too much time there. But if you guys have any suggestions f for things to see in Canada, whether they're well-known or not well-known, like, please let me know, because I'm trying to get as many things, like, listed as possible to be able to tick off while I'm there. So I'm probably just going to stick with this palette today for, like, contour and highlighting. So I'm going to take the yellow shade, and on a dry beauty sponge, I'm just going to press that underneath my eyes. And anywhere that I concealed really. So before I bronze and things I'm actually going to just quickly whiz through my brows off camera just because I'm going to be concentrating so much on them I won't be able to talk and I have done an updated brow routine which I'll leave linked up above and down below so I'll be right back. Boom she back and they fierce. I know for some of you they may be a little bit too much but for me they're just like just right. I was really into the fluffy brow for a little while but Mate, the structure is just like my life. So I'm initially just going to bronze the skin to get a bit of colour in there. So I'm going to take my NYX palette, I mean my huge, like what's new, and just applying it to all the areas that we naturally hit the sun. So I'm just trying to think what I was up to when I was talking. I think I was talking about Canada or something or other. I have also been applying for like nanny jobs. Because I am a lifeguard by day, I want to kind of... I don't know, you have to try something new. I'm always into, you know, variety in my life. And I've been a lifeguard for like two years now or so. So I think I kind of want to move on. And I do love working with kids. That's why I love swim teaching and everything. Whoa. So hopefully I'll find something in that soon. The only problem is like most nanny, like most of the interviews I've been to and things, they want someone for like a full year at least. And I can only really promise at like this point, like six months or so. Maybe seven months, so that's probably my only dilemma at this point, but fingers crossed I'll find someone. The right family will come along, I'm not too worried at the moment. So to highlight, I'm actually going to use two palettes today. I want to use the more medium toned, which is Star Glow in this palette, like along the bronzer to kind of give a bit of a glow. So I'm applying it to all the bronzy areas for a bit of a glow. And in, in autumn, for you guys, this is, you won't really sweat much. So you can apply a bit more glow to the skin and it looks good. It won't look um, greasy. So that's my subtle kind of glow. And then for my more intense glow, I'm going to take my Faux Color palette. And I'm going to probably dip into these two shades. And just apply that to the high points. Just the high point of the brow. So it just kind of hits on that angle. So I'm just going to zoom you in a little closer so you can actually see what's going on. So for the eyes, I'm thinking I might even do like a matte brown, smoky, and then like a little bit of like a glittery wing kind of thing. I do want it to be quite like a matte brown, but I do want a bit of a hint of like orange, especially with brown eyes, guys. I've just found orange, like a subtle pop of orange in there just looks, looks good. So for my transition shades, I'm going to take the colour Silk Cream and Butter and use those in my crease as a transition shade. So I'm just applying this through the crease, just softly, nothing too crazy, just keeping a light hand, I like to hold the bottom of the brush. And then taking a petite crease brush in the shade Hunts, which is like a kind of orangey brown, I'm just going to apply that through my outer crease. And I'm even blending it onto the lid as well. Just keep it very soft strokes, so just a light hand. You don't need to press too hard, otherwise it tends to look quite muddy. So, 
I haven't been mentally the best of late guys because I'm uh, working so much to save for Canada in the next you know five months or so. Uh, don't mind the aeroplane. I'm just taking a bit of butter and silk cream again and just softening the edges of hunts. Um, because I've been working so much, I actually haven't been doing anything else. Like, I haven't really been seeing friends. I haven't been doing, you know, any hikes. I usually used to go out and hike all the time. Just because I used to love going outdoors. It was, like, something for me. Like, it's so important, I'm realising, like, to actually have a day or two for yourself. And make that time for you. Or even just at the end of the day, like, do something for you. Because I just haven't been doing that. I've literally just been working double shifts or just working all the time. And then coming home and sleeping. And I just feel like... I'm like, so unfulfilled doing that. So my mentality hasn't been that great. So I kind of set myself a new goal. So like every Sunday or just at least once a week. Like I don't do YouTube. I don't do work. I don't think about work. I just go. This is Hunts by the way. I'm just buffing that all over the lid. Just lightly. I just go and do something for me. So like a hike. Go to the beach. Spend time with some friends. My boyfriend. Like anything. That'll be... Like, even just spend time with me. Like, something that I want to do that isn't work-related, I think, is so important. Because I just... I've been so, like, moody and... I just have these mental breakdowns, like, quite regularly. Because I'm just not in a good place, like, headspace. So that's kind of, like, a little thing that I've been working through lately. So I'm actually really liking the soft wash of Hunts over the lid. Like, it's just such a smoky look. It's so easy. This is such a simple, like, to achieve kind of look. So to add a little bit more of the brownie vibes, because I do want something a little tingy, a bit more brown. I do like the orange, but like I said, I want it to be like a matte brown. So I'm going to take the shade Roxanne. I'm just going to kind of feather that across my lid just to make it a smidgen bit more brown. And I literally mean, like, feather it. I'm not putting much on. This brush is the Luxe Classic Shader Brush too, by the way. Just like that, so it's a little bit more brown. So for like a highlight, I'm going to keep it matte. I don't really want a shimmer highlight today. I want this to be quite a matte look. So I think I might take some of this matte white from Makeup Geek called Ice Queen and mix it with some of Silk Cream, just a smidgen, so it's a little bit on a like more brownier tinge. Just like so it's subtly, very subtly like highlights that area. Just to lighten it up really and not give much pigment. Just lighten up the eye. So I really like this look in and of itself. But I think I might do like a little pop, a little pizzazz kind of thing. So first of all I'm going to just line my eye with a small, very small winged liner. This one is the Unshakable Liquid Liner from Mia Adora. And then what I want to grab is some of this like glitter liner from Revlon. It's their Photo Ready Eye Art. And I'm just going to draw like a line across the top of the winged liner. So I'm keeping it pretty thin like along the top of the lash line, like that wing liner. It doesn't matter if we get it a bit on the black because I'll just go back over it a bit with, like, with black eyeliner. But I want to kind of like this one just sit above the black. So I've just quickly gone and applied some lashes. These are the Iconics from House of Lashes. I love these. I know you're probably sick of me using them all the time, but I swear I just they're the perfect lash for something like this as well. So I'm thinking of doing like a nude in the waterline. I know I do a nude a lot of the time. But I don't know, just for me, just for an everyday wearable look, I think if I put a brown or something in, it's just a little too harsh. If I was doing a nighttime glam look, which this can be turned into, if you want to put like a brown in the waterline, then go ahead and do that. I'm keeping this the daytime appropriate, plus I just think it makes the eyes look more awake. But if I was going clubbing or something in this, then... <laughs> I'd definitely put a brown in there just because I think it accentuates the eyes a little bit more, makes it a little bit more smokier. And for my bottom waterline, I'm going to take the shade Hunts and just kind of wiggle that closely against the bottom lash line. Just to give a bit more accentuation because even though I love a nude in the waterline, you can kind of lose that shadow and that definition. So I always like to kind of redefine that back up with some shadow. And I'm just going to take some of Roxanne and butter and just buff, buff out hunts. 
And I'm just finishing off with some bottom lash mascara on the eyes. So I'm thinking about applying a little bit of blush to the cheeks just to give it a little bit of colour. So I'm going to take the Infatuation Blush from Makeup Geek. I just feel like this like kind of muted rosy tone is perfect for autumn. It's not too bright or corally, which is more of like a summer kind of kind of vibe. It's like something a bit more muted. So I have a Focalore lipstick. I believe that I haven't tried out yet. It is the O2 Burgundy shade. I think that would look really cool. Of course you can do like a nude or something, but I thought it'd be fun and try this out today. I haven't used it before. I'm going to line my lips with like a brown. I haven't got like a deep burgundy colour or a red with me at the moment, so I'm going to use a brown. But if you don't want to lip you line your lips, you don't have to. I recommend you do though, just because something dark tends to show if it's not like quite crisp. I guess so my input my two cents worth would be to line your lips but that's up to you and this is in the shade espresso it's actually an eye coal from makeup geek but I like to use it as a lip liner because it's so creamy so I'm just lining my lips I'm not filling them in at all today just because I'm gonna go straight in with that burgundy shade it's so like easy to apply and really pigmented Oh my gosh, this lip colour is um, like insane. It's another level. This is a matte liquid lip, I believe. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's very relaxed tutorial on this kind of autumny vibe and look. I do love how it turned out, not loving the blue at the moment. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any requests, please leave them down below in the comment section. If you did like this video, also give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that little subscribe button before you leave. So you guys can keep up to date with all my latest videos and tutorials. Otherwise, have an amazing... Every time I clap so loud. So I hope you guys have an amazing day was where I was getting at. Yeah. Otherwise, have an amazing day. I love you all so much and I'll see you very soon. Bye.